Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. SpaceX has built some insane machines over the years, but apparently, for some of the engineers at SpaceX, revolutionizing space isn't enough. They have broken away and formed a new startup, Radiant. They promise to revolutionize portable, sustainable energy with revolutionary space-grade micronuclear reactors. Is this an empty promise or a groundbreaking revolution? The technology designed for future Mars colonies is making nuclear power portable on Earth. Nuclear power is going to be portable in the form of relatively lightweight, cost-effective micro-reactors. A team of former SpaceX engineers is developing the world's first portable, zero-emissions power source that can bring power to remote areas and also allow for quick installation of new units in populated areas, a press statement revealed. As covered by foreign media New Atlas, Radiant is formed by a group of former SpaceX employees who were previously responsible for the relevant studies on the SpaceX Mars program where they would research and develop small nuclear reactors that can be swiftly deployed and facilitate portability with applications planned in remote areas, disaster areas or basements. Radiant claims that the particular portable nuclear reactor accentuates the utilization of advanced nuclear fuel. In contrast to traditional nuclear fuel, the fuel of Radiant is able to withstand a higher temperature that resists melting. The addition of a helium coolant also reduces the risk of corrosion, ebullition and pollution by a greater margin compared to that of ordinary water coolants. As explained by Radiant, the portable nuclear reactor offers more than one megawatt of power. That is enough in fulfilling eight years of electricity consumption for 1,000 households. Of course, military bases are also one of the application markets where a single nuclear reactor would provide four to eight years of power for remote bases. This reactor also comes with its exclusive transportation vessel that allows transportation to various locations through different methods, which satisfies the demand for power in remote areas. A remote monitoring and maintenance function is also available for the reactor that will lower the risks of damages. The nuclear reactor of Radiant is still at the prototyping test phase and the so-called safeness claim by the startup remains to be seen after the final experiment. Governments all over the world are looking at energy security as a priority to power their industries, businesses, homes and offices. But there are finite sources of energy and the technology to harness renewable energy is still decades away from wider adoption. Radiant is trying to address this challenge by developing a portable nuclear micro-reactor. Last year, the team secured $1.2 million in funding from angel investors for their startup Radiant to help develop its portable nuclear micro-reactors, which are aimed at both commercial and military applications. The company also announced that it has just received two provisional patents for its groundbreaking advances in portable nuclear reactors. One of these technological advances decreases the cost and time needed for refueling the reactor and the other enables greater efficiency in heat transportation from the reactor core. Radiant has signed a contract with Battelle Energy Alliance to test its portable micro-reactor technology at its Idaho National Laboratory. The National Reactor Innovation Center looks forward to working with Radiant to test its portable nuclear micro-reactor at Idaho National Laboratory. It's part of our mission to empower innovators and deliver successful outcomes. This is an opportunity to innovate in ways that bring a cleaner energy future, said Dr. Ashley Finnan, director of NRIC at INL. In some areas of the world, reliance on diesel fuel is untenable and solar and wind power are either unavailable or impractical. Clean, safe nuclear micro-reactors are emerging as the best alternative for these environments. Radiant's micro-reactor can be used in remote locations such as Arctic villages and isolated military encampments that would otherwise typically rely on fossil fuel power generators. Not only is the portable micro-reactor better for the environment, but it is also more practical as it doesn't rely on constant shipments of fuel. Instead, the clean fuel used for Radiant's micro-reactors can last for more than four years. If all goes well with Radiant's testing campaign, nuclear power might soon hit the road. 
In doing so, it will help to power countless remote communities and will further bolster the resurgence of nuclear power in a world that needs clean energy solutions more than ever. Bernauer, the former SpaceX engineer who worked on developing energy sources for an eventual Mars colony, said he thinks microreactors hold the most promise to supply power for settlements on Mars. During his research, he said he saw an immediate opportunity to utilize the technology on Earth, which resulted in founding Radiant, along with two other SpaceX colleagues. Bernauer said Radiant is operating under the auspices of the U.S. Department of Energy during testing and looking at the Department of Defense as its primary market, as the DoD seeks a way to provide power to military bases in areas where access to electricity is not available. The DoD, like other enterprises, also looks for ways to reduce or eliminate the use of diesel and other fuels to provide power generation in remote areas. We target 72 hours from settling it down on site to full power production capacity, Bernauer said, of Radiant's micro reactor. He said the unit could be moved to a new location after waiting just one week. It's a self contained system after you hit your site. The operating life is four to eight years, and that's of course demand dependent. It can sync with other units and with the grid as well. Bernauer said that the portability of Radiant's microreactors is key to its development, unlike small modular reactors that may be designed specifically to scale up. We can do a modular configuration, but we're more interested in keeping it portable, he said. Diesel has long been the fuel of choice to run gensets in areas that are located far from traditional power grids. This brings forth both logistical challenges and environmental concerns. The transport of fuel is another big problem. Radiant's microreactor has the potential to change the energy generation process for the better. The US Army in October 2018 published a report titled Mobile Nuclear Power Plants for Ground Operations that said about half of the 36,000 casualties in a nine-year period during the war in Iraq earlier this century came during land transport missions. Microreactor developers have cited several important benefits, touting not only that energy is clean, but that fuel can last four plus years, and the technology can work in areas with no sun or wind, even underground. A company investor said the engineering and aerospace background of the Radiant team is an important aspect of his decision to support the effort. The innovation and ambitious team at Radiant has expertise from SpaceX as well as impressive nuclear industry credentials, said investor Tom McNerney. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we see you next time.